and let's just shoot her legs that's her big point and there you go and down she goes very easy very simple as you could see just a quad explosive uh, time limiter pistol hey guys i'm oxy and in this video i'm gonna show you my automatic pistol build I'm using a pistol build for over 4 years in Fallout 76 and I truly believe this is the strongest automatic pistol build in the game. And now, enjoy the video. We're going to start with my special distribution. As you can see, I have 5 strength, 2 perception, 7 endurance, 4 charisma, 12 intelligence, 15 agility and 11 luck. Now keep in mind that all these specials are going to be boosted by legendary perks and also unyielding armor and now let's see the perks so we do have bandelier because we are carrying a lot of ammunition blocker it's a must have for this build to block any type of melee damage when you are going to break your stealth because we are going to use this build instead to make it extremely efficient of course it's like a weaker version of the stealth commando build you can pretty much solo everything with this build i did solo er williams before with this build you can watch the video in the description in perception we have tank killer because it does work with pistols now we do have concentrated fire on two and grenadier to boost our explosive damage radius when we're going to endurance i did put up life giver and fireproof to get a little bit of tankiness for this build because we are going to need it and in charisma just the standard perks strange in numbers and tenderizer for more damage when we're going to intelligence i do have scrapper this is just for day-to-day uh, -day use because I scrap everything that I pick up, pretty much every single armor and weapon just to get some extra materials. And I don't want to bother myself every time to put up scrapper, so we have a spare point for that in intelligence. And we do have, of course, batteries included because this build can use also automatic laser pistols if you want, but if not, then you should switch it for something else we do have demolition expert because we are going to use explosive pistols to get extra damage and we do have also nerd rage because we are blooded of course which means we are low health all the time if we're going to agility i do have gun food this is an extremely useful perk because it's switching the vats between the targets after each kill and it's giving you some extra damage really good perk i just love it use it all the time on my stealth commando build i do have escape parties just to lose our enemies sneak on two it's enough for this build since we are low health we have high agility and high perception so on two is just perfect we do have also all the guerrilla perks because we are using automatic uh, pistols for this build if you're going to lock there is nothing really special here we have critical savvy we have also of course strange genes to keep our mutations we do have curator because i do use bubble heads and magazines with this build just to boost a little bit the damage if you're using curator and a bubble head will last for two hours which is quite a long time and we do have of course serendipity just to avoid some damage better criticals for even better criticals extra damage all the time and bloody mess extra damage so as you can see we have every single damage perk that we can get in the game and also we have some you know convenience perks such as crapper and of course batteries included depending if you're planning to use energy weapons or not with this build now when we're going to the legendary perks we have pretty much the standard ones follow through for extra style damage funky dudes and sizzling style it's pretty much a must have with a low health build especially if you don't have any poison resistance or fire resistance on your armor which i don't have and most likely you don't have either and uh, these perks will keep you alive legendary perception and luck just to boost our special distributions far flung firework i found this perk to be quite useful when you kill an enemy get a chance to explode and do some area damage doesn't 
happen all the time of course but I found it to be quite useful when I'm fighting multiple enemies and did happen multiple times that I, f I fought like at uh, Earl Williams a bunch of Vendigos I killed one blow up and blow up everything so that was pretty cool it's an underrated legendary perks but works really well with uh, stealth builds now when it's about the weapons the best weapon Now when it's about weapons, the best automatic pistol in the game, even after 5 years of Fallout 76, is still the 10mm pistol. You just can't go wrong with this weapon, have a lot of mods, you can put a suppressor on it, you can craft it to be legendary, there's a lot of great legendary perk combinations for this weapon, and as I said, there's a lot of mods and the ammo is quite cheap to make. And what I'm using is basically quad weapons and what we have here it's a quad explosive with less AP cost 10mm pistol. Quad it's a must have for this build because it's giving you a high ammo capacity. Sadly the 10mm pistol in this game even that does have that big magazine over there. The ammo capacity is just so low, just so so low. Let's just make a comparison between the quad. There we have the quad, as you can see, 51 bullets in one mag, which is absolutely insane for a pistol, right? In Fallout 76 at least. And we have the Executioner one, which have only 15 in one mag. Now that's stupid. That's just stupid. Just the magazine, look at the magazine. There's no way only 15 bullets is going in that magazine. That's just nonsense. But anyway... Quad is the way to go for this build. Quad explosive, quad faster fire rate will serve you extremely well. You can sustain your VAT's fire rate for much more longer and do a lot of damage. As you can see I do have a quad crit damage with faster critical field. Just a perfect weapon for VAT's usage. The same things goes really also for stealth commando builds. Everybody want quad because most of the automatic rifles in this game only hold 25 bullets in one mag, which again is bullshit, but it is what it is. So quad is the way to go and the 10mm pistol fully automatic and you can destroy everything. Now when it's about the armor, it's really up to you what you want to use. I'm using the secret service armor set. Why? Because have really good damage resistance, energy resistance, and of course radiation resistance. So that's the one that I pick. Of course you want to have a full on yielding set. Again, depending on what kind of armor do you like, I suggest you the secret service. Even after 5 years of Fallout 76, is still the best armor in the game. There is just no point. No point of grinding for any other armor set if you have a good secret service armor set. It's just a waste of time and a waste of resource. There is nothing better than the secret service. It's just the best one. And I always have on me also a Chinese stealth armor. Just because there's a lot of the times when we are doing events where there is a lot of radiations. Such as radiation rumble or when we doing... Uh, the Earl Williams fight and it's the event it's over and it's teleporting you out of the mine you're getting out in the radiation so it's always good to have a Chinese stealth armor on you whatever type of uh, low health build are you just to have it on you doesn't take a lot of weight and it's always useful just to have it you never know a lot of the times it did save me from uh, dying from uh, you know radiation now when it's about aid, I do like to use small gun bubbleheads. This is why all the time I have curator up. It's just going to make the bubblehead to last longer. All the time I have also glowing blood on me just to keep up my radiation. And other than that, just the pretty much standard uh, camps that you need like Radex diluted, Radway diluted and some super steam packs all the time and not normal steam packs and in food really nothing special just some corn soup and uh, really popcorn and water nothing especially crazy here just pretty regular stuff 
Now, when it's about efficiency, this build is just extremely efficient. As you can see in VATS, we have no problem killing enemies. And uh, where is the Mylurk King? There you go, as you can see, very efficient. And you did see over there far flung fireworks just procking up, doing some extra damage. And did we got a double kill with that? Yes, we got a double kill, as you can see, quite an efficient perk, so it's uh, really good. And there is another Mylurk over there. Let's just use that. Oh, be careful with the explosions over there. Another Mylurk. And where is the Mylurk King? Do we have any Mylurk Kings out? She doesn't like uh, to get out. And let's just shoot her legs. That's her weak point. And there you go. And down she goes. Very easy, very simple, as you could see. Just a quad explosive uh, 10mm pistol with no problem. Let's just go this side. There is usually a random encounter here that I always like to check out. Is something. There is a note. What does it say? I don't know, but I will take it. And there is just a dead person. Okay. So nothing as interesting, but we do have a force of score beast here, which we can kill with no problem. It is a legendary score beast, which is always cool to get a score beast. As you can see, it's also really good by aiming. It doesn't have a lot of recoil. It's just my aim is pretty, pretty, pretty bad. Now, this is one of those situations where it's really helping us. Uh, or poison resistance that we get from the legendary perk and there is the score beast let's just go for the head and there you go no problem over there as you can see serendipity is doing his works there's a lot of explosions over there god damn stop those why there is so many and gone for doing Wow, what happened over there? Just didn't take the damage. That's interesting. Anyway, must be some server lag over there. And uh, there's a gutsy over there, no problem with that. So as you can see, we are pretty tanky. We could take some things and we are extremely stealthy, of course. So there is a lot of good things about this build, but definitely what makes it work so damn well it's the 10 millimeter pistol and the fact that we have a quad one. That's just too good. No problem. There you go. But yeah, that's pretty much it with my build. I do really enjoy it. I do still like it. And uh, I actually prefer this way over the Stealth Commando build. I found it to be much more enjoyable and much more fun uh, to use it. Let me know in the comment section what you think about it, if you're going to try it. Thank you for watching and see you guys in the next one. Come on, Scorch Beast.